and I'm the costume designer from your musical. Hi, my name is Stella. I am co-lighting designer with Tommy. Hi, my name's Tommy. Um, I'm the lighting designer. Hi, I'm Christina, and I'm this year's scenic designer. Hi, my name is Leaning. I am the sound designer this year for Mirror Musical. I enjoy designing sets um, because I'm really interested in the way that uh, the design of a space can influence uh, individuals' experience of that space. But this year, I'm really excited to design for Hairspray um, and just be able to incorporate a lot of the 50s and 60s design elements. The Mirror Musical to me isn't just a show. I've worked on many other productions before, and Mirror Musical is the organization that has most felt like a family to me. It's not just a production, it's more of an experience for everybody involved. Um, I believe that costumes are especially important for the show because they really can tell a story, especially since it is a period piece. Having period costumes is super important to put it in the 60s. A wireless runner is someone who essentially puts the mic on a person and takes it off. But that's only one component of my job. I also um, essentially organize everything sound-wise, so when it comes to music, it's important to understand when people are speaking, when people are singing, and so that kind of information is fed to our soundboard operator. We're also in charge of the sound effects. So every weird sound that you hear that's not generated by an object on stage, that's us. So because this year's show is so big, one of our biggest um, issues was figuring out how many mics to get and that comes down to how much money was available to us at the time. Which means that your contribution would help um, pay for some of those mic fees because this year we went over our you know, predicted budget. For this year's production, we are renting set pieces from the national tour, um, but with our current budget, we're only able to uh, get about a third of that set, um, so we're having to fill in the rest of the production um, with things that we build or things that we rent. Um, any extra money that we can raise would go towards um, filling the stage up so that our actors um, can have more space to interact and also towards projections, which is something that um, our director, Jenna, and I would really like to incorporate this year. So unfortunately, this year our budget has been spread a little bit thin since we've been working on two productions and our wig department has taken a bit of a hit, which is unfortunate because the show is Hairspray, which revolves so heavily around the hair itself. So with your contribution, we could make the show what it is meant to be. Uh, our lighting budget this year was decreased a bit uh, compared to previous years um, because we did do two shows this season for the first time. Um, so we used to we usually have a budget of like fifteen hundred. This year is a thousand, and so we're taking a hit because usually when we get our hazers, see some atmospheric effects for like the beams of light on stage. That usually takes up about four hundred five hundred dollars. So this year it's about half our budget gone just for um, hazers. I think that you can create um, great lighting on a budget, however, it's, there are so many more opportunities and so much more stuff you can do if you have um, more money. So like for example, I think that um, being able to have more moving lights um, and intelligent lighting systems would be wonderful. Um, and for those of you who don't know, like intelligent lighting system is, it just gives you a lot more capabilities. Um, I personally would love to use scrollers, which are um, basically they go, it's like a little box that goes on the light and it scrolls through a bunch of gels. So you have multiple colors um, on one light, which makes your, um, like the capabilities of what you can do and looks you can create so much more. Lights are so expensive, so. You know how like $20 is like one adult dollar? A hundred dollars is one lighting dollar. So any donation helps. I've made some of the best friends that I know after graduating this year that I'm gonna keep for the rest of my life. Um, it's just, it creates so much more than art, which is so important, but it creates a life for you. And so many people come into a musical not knowing what they want to do with their life or not knowing who they are and really discovering themselves here. Uh, so many people start out as stage crew or stage hands and then go into designing themselves. 
And it just gives people such an opportunity that other departments or other places wouldn't give you. It includes everybody. You don't have to be a theater major. You don't have to be a part of Muir. They accept everybody, and everybody's so different, yet everybody clicks so well together. And it all works, and we just create something beautiful everywhere.